Hello. How are you? Really hope you've had a good week. Been a mad one, hasn't it? But this right now, though, is the Dance Music Archives. This is a sanctuary away from the news, politics, stress, housework, homework, bills, responsibilities, two hours off from the world to immerse ourselves in two different years in the history of electronic music. I'm Andy Durant. Cheers for listening to History. We are doing 2014 later on, but for the next 60 minutes, it is 1992, a golden year, an incredibly exciting year. Probably my favourite year to do, actually, because the music's just so, so good. It was the start of so much. So it doesn't matter if you're old enough, um, you know, whether you were lucky enough to be out clubbing at the time, maybe you're still at primary school, maybe you're just a little egg in your mummy's tummy, but we have got loads of rave and hardcore, massive anthems, some samples to dig through, an early demo version of one of the most famous dance tracks of all time to play as well. But first up, uh, talking to some of the most famous, we kick off with a very influential track, a record credited with kind of creating that whole progressive house uh, genre by a trio of lads from London who named themselves after Tag Records, a shop in uh, Soho. Gap Decor is an anagram of that. Uh, and it got to the top 30 in the UK when it first came out, but it's been bootlegged, remixed and replayed so many times over the last 30 years since it came out. It's gone down as one of the all-time greats. This is Passion. Let's go. Craze, an acid house party in a disused warehouse. 
Coaches will take them to a destination which has deliberately been kept secret to obey the police. History. 
Dance Music Archive on Kistory. Andy Durant. 1992. It's 1121. Do you know where your teenager is? He or she could be checking out a rave. A new fad among the suburban set where kids come to the inner city and party all night long in an abandoned warehouse. I'll take you up to the highest heights. Let's spread our wings and fly away. Surround you with love that's pure delight. Release your spirit, set you free. And let me be your fancy, another timeless anthem as we do 1992 on this week's Dancing Music Archive. I also played you Liquid with Sweet Harmony. Rosala, are you ready to fly and get the call with passion on Kistry? And as I said at the start, I think 92 is my favourite year. It's just amazing how so many tracks that we kind of now see and look back over, you know, the kind of the biggest old school classics were all made in 1992. Honestly, it's just banger after banger, tune after tune. I don't know what was going on in the world that led to such a huge, like, spike in electronic music creativity and output. The UK was in the middle of a big recession. It was Black Wednesday. It was like, it was a really bleak time, but alongside all the massive records, you had Cream and Renaissance launching, big illegal rave at Castle Morton Common, which has um, kind of gone down in history. It was so big, it resulted in, like, new laws being passed. The KLF um, were on the Brit Awards. Uh, Shaman was singing about Ease of Good on top of the pops, but what a time to be alive. Groundbreaking days, and here's another one from 92 that's gone down in history. Felix, and Don't You Want Me. Don't 
on Kistery. 8 and rough in the jungle business on Kiss Street and before that Felix with Don't You Want Me a timeless dance anthem that I reckon will still sound good in another 30 years from now I loved that so much when I was a little kid actually then in like a weird twist of fate that I seem to often find myself in, I ended up um, being on an executive board of a big organisation with Felix as a grown up <laughs> you know meeting him regularly and discussing important music industry business he's a lovely lovely guy um, anyway another couple of people who I've actually been lucky enough to get to know over the years were the Utah Saints helped me out loads when I was a spotty teenager and we shared a studio with them as well uh, later later in life but Tim and Jez Utahs from uh, Leeds truly some of life's good guys and in 1992 they were well I suppose they were just kids themselves really they produced this clubby instrumental track but they needed a vocal for it and started listening to Kate Bush's legendary Hounds of Love album which is the same album that Running Up That Hill is on uh, and the first track that they put into their very early basic Akai sampler was called Cloud Busting and there was one little line that stood out for them and it sounds like this wait for it But every time it rains You're here in my head Like the sun covered out Ooh, I just know that something good is gonna happen I don't know when But just say it, I could even make it happen 
you go. So they pitched it up. They had to add a little kind of extra pitch bend on it to keep it in time, which is where you get that ooh I just to uh, make sure it hit the beat. But Kate Bush let them use the sample the only time she's ever let anyone mess with the music until Stranger Things this year. And it became a massive, massive hit. A timeless anthem. Utah Saints and something good. Saints and something good on history sampling Kate Bush's cloud busting. Um, I actually did a little video about that on TikTok last week as well, where we kind of take apart samples. Um, we do it every week actually, so just search for the DNA of dance on TikTok if you want to uh, watch some of those. They're good fun actually. This is the Dance Music Archive. I'm Andy Durant. You can get me direct on the socials at Andy Durant, A N D I D U R R A N T, and I'll be back in just a second with part two of the show and another 30 minutes of music from '92, starting off with a hardcore rave tune that borrowed heavily from a famous kids TV show. Sunday Night History. 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 This is time to go. <laughs> Sunday Night History. Sunday night across the UK and all around our tiny little world. This is the Dance Music Archive on Kistry. I'm Andy Durant, doing 1992 for the first half this week, 2014 later on. But right now, 30 years ago to the day, an incredible year for music and club culture. So many anthems. And another sort of strange quirk of 1992 was how um, all these rave tracks were ending up in the charts because people were starting to utilise the new technology of samplers that were coming out and stealing bits from really random places. Um, in fact, there was this whole sort of subgenre called Toy Town Techno which sampled um, kids' TV shows. He had, like, Smarties, Sesame Street, Prodigy Charlie, uh, Rhubarb and Custard, but I think it was by Chef, was it? And this, uh, a couple of guys from Hampshire going under the name Urban Hype. They actually had a pretty long and successful career as, you know, hardcore and early techno producers making quite cool stuff, but this became a huge hit in the summer of 92, stealing the theme from a 1960s stop-motion children's BBC programme. This is a trip to Trumpton. You, you, in the
The house crew with We Are Hardcore and before that SL2 and Alter Ego of Slipmat and Lime. Uh, DJ Slipmat, of course, being instrumental in the like early rave and happy hardcore scenes in the UK. We also played you Kicks Like a Mule, a couple of British guys, Nick Hawks and Richard Russell, who set up XL Recordings, which is a massive legendary British independent label, still going strong now. They went on to sign acts like Adele, The Prodigy, The White Stripes, The XX, and so, so many more. Uh, and then uh, Nick Hawks created Positiva Records as well, which is one of the most successful dance music uh, labels of all time, so quite the CV. You are listening to the Dance Music Archive on Kiss Street. I'm Andy Durant and uh, if you're interested in the nerdy kind of stuff that I often talk about on the show, make sure you check out the online library at dancemusicarchive.com. Loads more to get through, including a very early demo version of a track that's become possibly the most famous old school anthem of all time. And next up, a uh, lesser known forgotten classic actually from Shut Up and Dance, sampling some of the film score to the 1987 movie The Last Emperor and turn it into a dark dance track for smoky basements this is green man Let's go. I know you want me to 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 go
One of my all-time favourite um, classics, that one. One of the tracks that really caught my ear and a lot of other people's of my sort of generation when we were still kids at school and made us stop and go, what the hell is this? <laughs> Sample an old 70s reggae record by Max Romeo and the Upsetters, The Prodigy and Outer Space on Kistry. It's the Dance Music Archive. I'm Andy Durant. We're doing 1992 for the first half of the show this week and I've just got time to squeeze one more in before we head all the way forward to 2014. I'm going to finish with a really interesting one. I, I, I just thought you might like to hear this because it's something that you'll, well, 100% know, I'm sure, um, and hopefully you'll love it as well, but it's a very early version that you've probably never heard before. So, Entrance set you free. Massive hit in 19. 95, so you may ask why we were playing it in 92. Well, it was it was made in 92 as a white label release for the club. So Kevin O'Toole and uh, Dale Longworth, they met at Oldham College studying sound engineering and they'd written this kind of ravey track for the clubs. Um, actually inspired by a night out at the Hacienda in Manchester um, when Kevin was passed a bottle of water by a woman in the crowd and she could, he could feel her heartbeat through her clothes, which is one of the famous lines in it. Um, but anyway, they went into uh, college and asked a load of mates um, if anyone could sing or if anyone knew a good singer and they all pointed out to a 16-year-old Kelly Lorena. They went into the bedroom, um, spent... Not, not like that. They went into the bedroom to record the track um, and spent a couple of years driving up and down the motorway performing it, you know, just for, like, petrol money and stuff. Uh, and it took a while, but it started to get played in the clubs. People started asking for it in record shops, so in 94 it came out again. Did OK, but then they tried in 95, where it got this big proper release, went to number two in the charts and just became this timeless anthem. But this original demo version is really interesting to hear if you're a nerd like me, because the, the vocals aren't quite polished, she's not singing all that perfectly well, the production's a little bit off, and it's just altogether more amateur. I mean, you can tell it was recorded in, by some college kids in a bedroom, and it's all the more wonderful for it. So have a listen, Entrance and Set You Free, the original 1992 white label version.
hearing it as well after knowing how you know kind of polished and finished the 95 smash version is compared to that early white label release from 1992 like it's like like kind of peeking into a bit of dance music history and that's what we're all about on this show uh, entrance and set you free the 92 white label version 30 plus years of electronic music and club culture history all told over two hours every sunday night on history i'm andy Durant. sunday night history <laughs> In the style of 1992, but with 2022 production, a track now from Solar and Plasma Tour featuring the vocal talents of Lauren Rose. This is Break of Dawn.
down. 